Hi friends, it's Nathan, a second year pharmacy student studying at the University of Waterloo. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. As you may already know, I am not currently in school. I did film a video explaining why I'm not in school. If you haven't seen it, I will link it above. Essentially, I am on a four month work placement in the surgery department at a hospital, working as a surgical pharmacy student. And it's all part of my work study PharmD program. So super exciting. I'll be working until April and then come May, I'll be returning back to my studies. It's gonna be a good four months of hospital content and I did already film my first week of surgery video and it's already up on my channel. If you haven't seen it, again, linked above. A lot of people were asking me, what does my role look like? What does it entail? What do I do? I show it to you all in that video about the intersectionality between pharmacy and surgery because it's big. There's some big things that we cover and it's very important. So definitely go check it out if you're interested. But today's video is a highly requested one, especially after my college finals week vlog went viral. I was always linked above. Back at the end of 2021, I promised that I would film this video in 2022. And literally the first week of January, you guys were DMing me on Instagram. It's 2022, where's the video? Well, here's the video. We don't make false promises on this channel. So here is my unconventional yet effective ink tutorial, how to realistically use flashcards using what I call single day space repetition to memorize everything, but in a fraction of the time. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. I will be dividing this video according to chapters. So you have the first part, which would be an introduction to my technique. Second part would be how to set up Anki. Part three would be how to make cards the Nathan way, literally two cards in every minute. And then finally, how to study the Nathan way. It's gonna be a good one, guys. I know 2022 will have a lot of resolutions on getting better grade, improving your studies. So this is the video for you, enjoy. I just wanted to say that this video is kind of sponsored by Bulk Home, but you'll hear me talk about that a little bit later on in the video. If you don't know what Anki is, Anki is a flashcard system that uses the idea of space repetition to help you memorize things. And if you understand the card, if you know it, it'll show it to you less versus if you struggle with the card, if you don't know it, then it'll show it to you more. And over time, as you do these every single day, It'll reinforce the concepts you're weak on. And the intention is that you study these cards every single day so that the ones that you're weak on will eventually be reinforced over and over again till everything is fully memorized, ready for the test or exam. So that is how Anki was designed to be used. That is not at all how I use it. And I know some YouTubers are going to be angry with what I'm saying. I use Anki in a way that I call single day space repetition. The issue with Anki that I find is that I find it unrealistic. It's very unrealistic for students to be able to do cards every single day. And this is coming from a study tuber that literally studies almost every single day. You have people like Rachel Southerd, who is absolutely amazing, that does cards every day. And it's actually incredible. But for the majority of students, it's just not possible. And Rachel, if you're seeing this, Love you, let's be friends. But essentially, it's just not very realistic for a majority of people. And that's what I realized myself. And that's why I developed my own technique to allow me to still memorize, but in a fraction of the time and get the grades that I want. So the first step is to download Anki. Anki can be used on Mac, Windows, Linux, iPhone, Android, whatever, you name it. To save you the hassle, I already included the download link in my description box. Once you've downloaded and set up the application, you're going to do an add-on. Now add-on are tools that allow you to customize your cards and essentially make Anki work for you. Now the add-on that we're gonna be using is called Image Occlusion Enhance, and it is how I make all my flashcards and it is how I'm able to make two flashcards for every minute. Once you open Anki, you're gonna go up to tools, then you're going to click add-on, and then you're gonna enter in this code on the screen here and then it's added. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in and tell you this video is kindly sponsored by Bulk Home, a Japanese skincare line specifically for men. Now the word bulk in the Japanese cosmetic industry refers to the product inside the packaging and then home is the French word for man. Therefore, Bulk Home is a skincare company specifically formulated for men that prioritizes substance over style. As a pharmacy student, I always look at the ingredients and Bulk Home uses plant-based and key ingredients such as apple extract, which moisturizes and conditions, uses no synthetics, all the while being cruelty-free. 
as well, my skin is very sensitive, so I don't like using products with a heavy fragrance, and Bulk Home has a very light and refreshing fragrance that doesn't irritate my skin. So I have you propped up here on my sink, and Bulk Home uses a three-step routine of cleanse, hydrate, and protect, so we're just gonna get started. Starting with the first product, the face wash. So I'm gonna actually use their bubble net. Working at the hospital all day, my face is oily, dirty, and the mask I wear tends to clog my pore. So this cleanser combats all of it. With the bubble net, the face wash becomes this luxurious foam that gently cleanses without being over drying. Then I use the toner, which is a lightweight, watery moisturizer that calms my sensitive skin. Lastly, the lotion, which is non-greasy and milky, protects my skin against these harsh negative 15 degree winters. It is so important for us men to take care of our skin now so that we don't run into future dermatological issues such as sun damage or scarring which I see in practice all the time. The face wash retails for $23 and the toner and moisturizer retails for $32. If you're looking for a high quality and affordable skincare brand, I highly recommend you check out Bulk Home. I will attach the link below so you can do some shopping and check them out. Thank you Bulk Home and let's continue on with the video. I realized that the biggest issue people have with flashcards is the amount of time it takes to make them. Now, I can see why they may say that, but with my technique, literally two flashcards for every single minute. It doesn't get better than that. So how do you do it? You're going to take your lecture slides, whether they're in PowerPoint uh, or PDF, if they're in PowerPoint, convert them to PDF. Once it's in PDF form, then you're going to convert them into JPEG. Now I've linked my favorite converter down below. It takes every single slide or every single page into a picture, into a screenshot. And each screenshot is gonna be your flashcard. I have lectures that have 150 slides. I wanna emphasize that not every single slide is going to be a flashcard because not every single slide is gonna be important for your exam. Use the review, use the learning objectives, use whatever you need to condense, okay? Because trust me, you don't need 150 slides. Um, so I had, for what is it, COPD Therapeutics, it was a 130 slide document. I only made 60 flashcards out of it, 60 slides that I actually kept that were important. So again, use your judgment. Making your cards. So to make your cards, you're gonna click Create Deck. Now you can organize your decks however you like. I like to divide it by the course. So I have Farm to Do One, then I go into the actual chapter. So here we have COPD, and then I'll go into the lecture, COPD therapeutics, and so on, okay? Once you've created your deck, you're gonna click Add. Make sure that Image Occlusion Enhance is selected. There will be a little picture frame in the top corner there. Click it, and then it's gonna ask you to select a file. Now you're gonna select those individual screenshot JPEGs that we've converted from the PowerPoint PDF to those JPEGs, select those and then it's gonna pop up into an editor. Image occlusion is very popularized for diagrams, labeling, anatomy, and yes, it can be used for that, but why limit it to that? Your slide essentially is a flashcard already. We're gonna use image occlusion to turn it into a fill in the blank flashcard. So with the rectangle tool selected on the left side there, you're going to cover all the important information. Don't cover the whole slide because you want to leave some keywords that will trigger your memory to that important information that's covered. Mimic it kind of like an exam, so a question. You see certain keywords in a question and then it'll trigger your memory. Do it the same for this flashcard. We're going to cover all these things and then we are going to hit the select icon, select everything, and you're gonna hit the letter G on your keyboard. That stands for group. Once it becomes one item, at the bottom there, you're gonna click hide all, select one, and you have made one flashcard. Now I wanna say the reason why I do the hide all, select one is because I want to use single prompts to be able to trigger a lot of information. If I was not to cover everything, a open box could reveal information about the closed box, and I don't want that. I wanna see keywords literally in the question and be able to trigger all this memory, and that's the best way to do it. I also wanna say that when I make my flashcards, this is the first time I'm actually seeing the content because I've never seen the lecture before. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit later on in a future video about why I don't go to lectures anymore. Um, but essentially, by doing the flashcards, I'm learning the content as I go because 
you need to figure out what is important and what's not. And in order to do that, you need to understand the information. So you're going to read through the slide, see what's important, see what's not important, and then box accordingly. So it's a great way to actually think about your content and really to process it rather than to blindly sit through a lecture and just kind of information going one ear and out the other. And you're going to keep doing this for all the slides that you need to know. And there you go. We have your flashcards made. They're ready for active recall. You've skipped watching a lecture because it's redundant now. You're good to go. Now it's time to study our cards. Studying cards. So when it comes time to studying your cards, you're going to click study now. And then you're going to see a card that we made with all the boxes. Now, again, we're going to use keywords that we see on the slide here to trigger our memory. So I see the word exacerbation. Exacerbation, what do I know about COPD exacerbation? And then I'm going to start listing what is underneath those boxes. Now, this process requires thinking, right? So, you know, I see the keyword, I'm thinking, triggering memory, making connections, and then I'm verbalizing it. I always recommend you to speak it out because the more senses you engage in, the better it is retained, it stays in your head. So that's why I'm a nightmare to study. That's why you obviously see me talking and using my hands when I do my Anki cards because it just helps with memory. This is active recall, okay? We're thinking, we're verbalizing it. And then once we verbalized it, we are gonna click the space bar and that's gonna reveal the answers. Let's say we got it wrong. We're gonna click again, meaning we're gonna see the card again. Now this is where that space repetition is happening, okay? You don't know it, it's gonna show it to you again to reinforce it. So here we have it again. This time we get it right. We're gonna click easy and we won't see it again. It is a very intuitive strategy, but here's where the twist comes in with Nathan's way. Remember when I said that I used a technique called single day space repetition? What does that actually mean? Single day space repetition means that I'm only spending a day for a deck. Once I finish the deck, once it says congratulations, I will not be going back to it. I will not be doing more active recall. I will review my cards passively the morning of the exam, but other than that, my studying is done. And in order for this technique to work, it's very important that you are critical and you are harsh with whether you click easy or whether you click hard. If you're going to click easy, make sure that it's easy. Make sure that you know how to do the question. Make sure you know the answer. Make sure that if you were half asleep, you could still get the answer right. That is what easy means. It's going to be a very intense session. Usually I do it like two, three days before my final or before my test. So those two, three days are very intense. It's a full day of just active recall. But those three days are so intense that my brain gets so saturated that all the information is retained. It's whether you want to work smart or hard. And for me, and I know a lot of other students too, working smart is more important than working hard. Yes, you might not get a few questions, but the amount of time that you can save, that you can be doing other stuff and remain diligent and not feel bad that you're not doing your cards every day, I think that's worth it. And I've been getting great results throughout my academic career and I post my live reactions to my grades on this channel so you can check that out linked above i do think it's worth it and i know so many students that will not touch anki or go near anki because of this everyday spaced repetition fear and as a result they're missing out on all the benefits of active recall they're not linked together you can do anki you can do flashcards without having to do cards every single day I want as many people to reap the benefits of flashcards and active recall. And with my technique, you are able to do so. As long as you're being intentional and systematic with how you are running your study sessions, you will be able to memorize everything that you want in a fraction of the time and in a realistic and practical manner. Pharmacy school runs a very, very tight exam schedule. I have an exam every two weeks. So I had to learn how to adapt and develop, and Anki has developed with me. I use this technique for all my exams. I make my cards in a few days, then I study them in a few days, and I end up doing fine. You can see my results. I post all my live reactions to my grades on this channel. So if my words are not convincing you, let my actual grades convince you to try this technique out, guys. I'm telling you, this will revolutionize 
your study technique. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what class you're using Anki for and whether you're gonna try out this technique. I know Anki was a huge learning curve uh, for me and for many others, so I would love to support you and have this community root for you as well. Okay, if you wanna see more study advice, study vlogs, hospital vlogs, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And if you want more day-to-day -day content of my life, follow me on Instagram at Nathan.Woo. And for more entertaining educational content, you can follow me on TikTok. But that's it for me, and I will see you friends in the next video. Bye.